Sorry, brother. But I have to do this. Oh, hold up. Life was never easy for us. Our dad left us at a very young age. He left to the U.S. to give us a better life. He left with the promise to return and take us out of poverty. To this day, 15 years later, he still hasn't returned. My mom has worked every single day of her life for Don Enrique. Now it is our turn to figure out a way to take her out of poverty. I'm not sure I think there's something wrong with mom. What's wrong with you, mom? I'm frustrated. I can't provide for you anymore. Hold on, mom. We'll go talk to the pharmacy if we can find a solution. Sorry, mom. I couldn't find him. I'll go look for him tomorrow morning. I can't provide for us anymore. Is there any other jobs I can do? I have something, but I don't think you're gonna like it. I'll do anything. Anything it takes to take us out of poverty. Go get the bag in my trunk. Faster! Don't open it. I'm gonna just deliver that to this address. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, call me when it's done. Okay. And, and you might need this. Find a solution to get out of poverty now. The Enrique wants us to deliver these bags. He said it would pay us top dollar. We're gonna get a hundred times more than on the field. So what's in those bags? I don't know, he told me not to. He gave me this paper with the address. We gotta be there by 11 p.m. to deliver it. All right, we'll do it. All right. What kind of deal is this anyway? This place looks kind of sketchy. I don't know. Don Ricky just told me to deliver the bag in the trunk. Oh no, look, there's a street. Turn, make a left right here. Right here? Yeah. Is this our place? I don't see nobody else here. All right, brother, we just got to our second delivery. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's go. What is that? Oh, it's not some just fell off. Nah, what is it? Nothing. What is it? Let me see. Where'd you get that from? Don Ricky gave me this on our first delivery. Or what? I don't know, man. He just said he might need it, but I see no point. What kind of deliveries are we doing? I'm not sure. You want to find out? We need some drug runners for a cartel. You know. I feel like we could catch them because like they're sloppy. I mean, you're two brothers, right? And there's some turmoil between them. And I feel like if we catch them in the right situation, we can get them. Y'all got any detail on them already? Yeah, it's two. It's two brothers. We don't know their names, but we know we have pictures of them and everything. So we know who they are, and we know what routes they use and how they operate. Mr. Stump? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Ryan now? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 where's your bag at? The bag isn't coming until I see the merchandise. Is that so? Yes, sir. All right. It's good stuff right there. All right, so where's the bag at now? Go, go, go! Right 
Francisco Garza, you are not under arrest for drug trafficking. Anything you say will be used in the court of law. Now, I'm going to ask you this one more time. Who do you work for? Myself. You work for yourself. So, when we busted you, there was somebody else running. Who was that? I don't know. You tell me. You know everything. You're the agent. So we can make a deal. Let's time on your sentence, because you don't get thrown in jail. Now, you're looking at about 50 years. You tell me who your partner is, I can get that down to probably 15 or 10. I'll make you a deal. All right. Less than five years, and I'll give you his name. Five. Five years. Five years. Yeah. What's his name? Man? It's my brother. Miguel Garza, you are under arrest. You are now under arrest for drug trafficking. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say here will be due used in the court of law. You can thank your brother. Francisco. I thought I'd find you here. What happened to mom? She got sick. Died two weeks ago while you were in prison. So about that, why'd you snitch me out? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, brother. But I have to do this. Oh, hold up. Wait. 